Hi, in this slide I want to dive deeper into the first step of the Wheel of Learning, which is asking questions. And I suppose now that we have our mastery vocabulary, we could say, when I ask questions, do I ask uh, creative, smart, best questions on a scale from 1 to 10 on a path of mastery? Am I a black belt, first, second, third degree? Am I a 10? And we find out that if we can, if we can ask write it down and make sure we really phrase it, get exactly the right question, then that's 50% of solving a problem. What typically happens is there's pain and we say, oh my gosh, I've got a headache. Quick, what's the solution for the headache? We'll take this aspirin. But we are doing symptom relief as opposed to what is the root root cause of why I got this type of headache when I did. And if I could understand the root cause, then what would the questions I would ask about the root cause so that we can do things on a preventative anticipatory basis as opposed to a reactive emergency, much more expensive basis. A concept is to questionate. In other words, what is the, the whole black belt 10th degree art of asking the right questions to innovate uh, on the best uh, possibilities? By example, if we're looking at financial numbers and we say, gee, you know, this branch's sales are off by 5% compared to everybody else, you know, the, the average for most of our branches, you know, why are the sales off? Well, because we're looking at, through a lens, financial numbers, we tend to come up with the same kinds of questions and the same kinds of answers. And so we start to come up with the same kinds of solutions. Uh, but we've tried those for the last 20 years, and they worked as well as they're going to work. And, and to really get to the next level, we've got to have next level insights. Uh, so we need a different set of questions. And maybe what we need actually is a different set of, of metrics to begin with. So when we look at line item profit analytic insights and say, oh, 5% of our items are generating 500% of our internal peak profits, for all items that we have, why are they so massively profitable? Who are we selling them to? Why do they buy? Why do they buy these kinds of items, etc.? Let's really understand why, as these items flow through the pipeline of our channel, they are so inherently profitable. And if we can get to the root, root, root causes, then we can come up with new plays, and we can, you know, do a better job and sell a lot more of them. For example, so that would be an example of of getting new metrics to get new insights, asking new questions, to find, come up with new plays that allow us to get breakthrough results as opposed to fine tuning the past and keep doing the same old thing. Um, the, uh, but of course, carrying on, uh, if we get insights and we get new plays, then we need new skills. And that means where the mastery piece comes in, where we're right in the middle of. And even if we have new skills, ideally we need new incentives to get everybody in the same boat. So we're all working the same thing as opposed to let's pay some people on one or two metrics and pay some other people on other metrics and they can be across purposes all the time. That's not good. But if we get the whole team focused and aligned, the kinetic chain, that's how we get the big pop in profitability. And then uh, down at the bottom, I've put a couple of references. If you go to my website and click on at merrifield.com, click on exhibits, go to exhibit 40, you'll find a lot of quotes that are very sort of organized. There's some value added selecting and, and editing and so forth on uh, how, to, how to ask questions. And then exhibits 30 through 34 are basically what I call question maps on why we need to do a better job at 555 marketing. That would be the five most, in a given niche, nicheonomics, the five most profitable customers, the five biggest losers, the five gazelles, and how do we take all of those to the next level? So uh, that's a way to dive deep on questionating to innovate. Thank you.